over our skies last night, the International Space Station. It'll make another pass over uh, South Texas and the coastal bend tonight. A little earlier in the evening, 848, you'll look to the south southwest sky uh, and then between that time and 854, it'll pass over the Gulf at a height of about 32 degrees over the horizon. So if you saw it last night, it'll be a little lower in the sky and it'll disappear to the east northeast sky. It'll be over the Gulf of Mexico again, uh, getting close to that nine o'clock hour. There may be some fair weather cumulus clouds drifting in, but I think the visibility should be OK uh, with that Passover. So if you haven't seen that before, it'll look like a little star moving across the sky. It won't be like a shooting star or anything. It'll just look like a star that's kind of drifting overhead. There's one of those fair weather cumulus clouds right now. 86 degrees south to southeast wind, 22 miles per hour and still plenty warm across the viewing area. 80s at the coast, 90s inland as high as 95 degrees in Hebronville. And in addition to the little fair weather cumulus clouds, we've got some higher altitude cirrus clouds off the tops of some storms that had been ongoing in Mexico. Go. These are not going to make it into our viewing area, but we will see the clouds from that around San Angelo. Some severe thunderstorms popping up, but again, we're going to be quiet not only tonight, but right on through the extended forecast. High pressure is going to be parked out over the northern Gulf of Mexico over the weekend and into early next week. We will maintain the southeast wind, the humidity and the warmth. It's going to be a hot forecast. Temperatures running above average by about 5 to 10 degrees over the next seven days and near record warmth tomorrow, Sunday and Monday. 92 Saturday would match the record high. 94 Sunday and Monday would break or tie uh, the record high and into next week. It'll get a little breezier that will up the humidity levels a little bit and that will then raise the heat index values and may start feeling like around 105 by next Thursday and Friday. And at that time, that's when we're starting to look toward the tropics. So this is the first day we've shown these maps. And so far this uh, season, there's a trough over the Caribbean. So we've got thunderstorm activity out there. The Gulf is very quiet uh, and the sea surface temperatures they're getting warm. This map showing 80 degrees or better on the sea surface temperatures. Not quite there throughout the Gulf, but in the Southern Caribbean we are in some of the modeling. The GFS and the European wants to try to fire something up mid to late next week in the South Caribbean. Whether or not that happens is still up in the air, meaning if you're seeing models putting big storms in the Gulf, that's fantasy land, fantasy land at this point. Uh, anything that far out, 10 plus days, the forecast accuracy just isn't that great. It's more like clickbait when you're looking two weeks away at a possible storm in your area. So take whatever you see online with a grain of salt. We'll keep you updated as best we can as we gear up for hurricane season. Upper 60s to low 70s tonight will hit 71 in Corpus Christi. Few clouds out there. Southeast wind 7 to 14 miles per hour tomorrow afternoon 92 partly cloudy hot and humid southeast wind 10 to 20 mid 90s inland if you're heading to the beach it'll be in the mid 80s the rip current risk moderate UV index will be extreme if you're going out on the water slightly choppy on area bays with three foot waves at a five second period and more of the same in the weather department mid to low 90s a mix of sun and clouds and breezy southeast winds lunar eclipse on Sunday night, totality at 11 11 p.m. Got to stay up late for that one, Leslie, Mike. 11 11, a time that we.